possibly my favorite tradition of the holiday season. Scrimpy, you ready to do this? Let the competition begin! Hello, hi, if you're new here, my name is Miley. And I am Eric. Why are you talking like that, you weird boy? This is my competition voice. I'm okay. very serious. Wow, you are very serious. Um, so, we are doing our annual gingerbread house decorating competition. Bah, 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 bah. We've done this every year since we've been married in different variations, but it's also a tradition that we have with my Aunt Darla and my grandparents in Tulsa we do gingerbread houses every year and we have for as long as I can remember. Um, and we typically do them in pound cake or angel food cake. Not gingerbread. Not gingerbread because my Aunt Darla has these awesome molds that we use and we do like mini houses and big houses. And this year for Christmas, she got me my very own giant gingerbread house mold for pound cake. So I used that for the first time this year and I'm so happy with it. It looks great. And Miley used them expertly. These are the only two ones that she made. Mm. It's a little bit of trial and error, okay? I'm just going to say that. Um, it's a good thing I bought four angel food cake boxes, okay? 50%, you know, in the NBA that's a great percentage. Only one deflated. The other one, the third one I made, <laughs> plopped out perfectly and then I accidentally dropped the mold on top of it and it deflated completely. <laughs> and I just stared at it for a good couple of minutes. So I love this tradition. Eric tolerates this tradition. <laughs> Eric, you've gotten good throughout the years. I mean, I, I straight up DNF'd our first year. Mine ended up in the garbage can, so it's not hard to go up from there. So anyway, we're gonna get to decorating and we will let you guys decide who the winner is. If you don't know, I am an expert gingerbread house decorator so she's okay tell the people that you are kidding because you know i am incredible I just looked at <laughs> expert expert level here Shut up. <laughs> um, okay so we're just gonna get started and scrimpy are you going for any sort of design uh no i just like to let the canvas speak to me and okay, i just well, do whatever comes out i don't really have any design in mind either since the first day of hanukkah Oh yeah, we're doing this on the first day of Hanukkah, which Happy Hanukkah, everyone. we're debating on whether or not we should celebrate Hanukkah because Eric has Jewish heritage. What up? He's not like, you know, religiously Jewish, obviously, but do any of you celebrate Hanukkah and Christmas? Let us know down below. Is that silly? Is that like overindulgent? Are you like the uh, Coens in the OC and celebrate Christmica? Christmica. Oh my gosh, I love the OC. Also, you like my shirt? It's a Disney World Christmas shirt. You like my shirt? It's a true classic. You are a mean, mean boy. Ooh, another gingerbread question. If you guys make gingerbread houses, do you eat them afterward? Or are they beyond eatable? What do we do, Scrimp? We do not eat them. They are beyond eatable <laughs> once we are done with them. So you will see us lick our fingers and do very unsanitary things. And also, we pretty much just kind of throw them away after we're done. It's the fun of making them. We've been good, but we can't last. I don't know why the Alvin and the Chipmunks song is stuck in my head, but it is. Mini m ms remind me of my grandma because she just always bought them for us. There was always mini m ms at her house, and I love mini m ms Want a plane that loops the loop? La -hoo, la -hoo. So, should we tell them what we're doing for Christmas? Opening presents, <laughs> eating food. <laughs> Such a stink butt. Sure. We are going to my Aunt Nikki's house on Christmas Eve. We always do that. We are opening presents and making breakfast, just us and the puppies Christmas morning. Then we are driving two and a half hours to Bartlesville where Eric is from and where all his family still live. And we're gonna do Christmas with Eric's family. And then 
We're gonna go home. Then we're gonna wake up super freaking early the next morning. And we are headed to New York because my immediate family is staying in New York this year for Christmas. So we are going to go spend five days in New York starting the day after Christmas and have fun with them. Definitely subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and stay tuned for all the festive goodness. I like it. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. I try so hard. I can't rise above it. Who sings that song? Is it Tim McGraw? Maybe it's Tim McGraw. Yeah, I think so. Comment down below if you know. What are you most or excited? Or you Tim McGraw. Comment down below. <laughs> what are you Say most I'd excited for about us. for Christmas this year's creepy? What? The answer that popped in my head is really mean, and I'm not gonna say it. For it to be over. Christmas to be over. Um, he's such a Christmas Grinch, you guys. And he's uh, married to me, who is like the Christmas queen. Listen, so. it, like I think it's time to clear this up. It's just because of the overexposure. If Christmas was celebrated like December 1st through the end of the month, I'd be fine with Christmas. I'd probably enjoy Christmas. I'd have a great time with Christmas. It's too much. It's too much Christmas. It's not too By the time we hit this time, like mid-December, I'm burnt out on it. Like That's I've, so sad. I've heard like, too many Christmas songs. I've you. seen too many Christmas lights. I feel so sad for you about Why? That. I just do. It Don't sad. you think that Christmas would be more special? If it was like no, I disagree. I think it is special because it's like the made the biggest deal, you know. I love it. What I'm looking forward to most about Christmas, um, I'm looking forward to seeing your reaction to your presents. Yeah. Um, just because, I mean, finally getting to the end of the advent calendar, seeing. Yeah, I don't think I've told the vlog about the advent calendar. You want to tell them? I got Miley an advent calendar. A very special advent calendar. I made Miley an advent calendar out of books because she he likes reading. He made homemade an advent calendar for me. Uh, it's not incredible. But every day has been a little bit anxious seeing how her reaction is going to be to each book that I picked up. It's been fun. I've loved it. We were at Target getting the decoration stuff. I told my I have to get these pieces for my <laughs> for a snack. <laughs> you are such a goofball. Hey, no. You better clean that up. No. <laughs> get what you need. Honestly, it's one of the realest moments that I don't think the vlog has ever captured of our lives. What do you mean? Miley will just belt sections of a song, unprompted, throughout the day. <laughs> Surely the vlog has seen me do that before. You just might find, you get what you need. I get what you need. Oh, you just might find, you get what you need. See the other thing, she doesn't, she never sings the whole song. It's the same line, <laughs> 20 times a day, for like a week. Mm, Scurpy, do you want to share our debate with the vlog that we were having earlier that you posted all over Facebook? Best Christmas movie of all time. Your options are A Muppet Christmas Carol or Being Wrong. Where do you land? I love A Muppet's Christmas Carol as much as the next guy. It's a great movie. I love it. However, I think it's unfair just say that it's the best Christmas movie of all time. There's so many good Christmas movies out there. And it's a matter of opinion. I mean, I know my favorite Christmas movie. It, it's what I would call the best Christmas movie out there, but you know, other people might not. You can't just definitively choose the best one. Those people are wrong. No, in your opinion, they're Not the Christmas Carol has everything. Everything you want from a Christmas movie. Holiday cheer and spades. Fair amount of humor, iconic music, touching, heart wrenching end of the second act, and then a wonderful feel good ending. I don't know, Elevates at Christmas Time is my favorite. Then Home Alone. Home Alone is like a quintessential one, okay? You can't it's pretend good, Home but Alone it's not. 
probably think Home Alone lands in my top five. Fine, right, it's a matter of opinion. You can't definitively oh, say this top is five the Christmas best. movies of all time. One, Muppet Christmas Carol, obviously. Number two would be probably Christmas Vacation. It's mm, iconic. Overrated. Very funny. Overrated. I like it. Um, there I was one that I was just thinking about today. I love the Santa Claus too. Tim Allen. Um. Oh yes, oh yeah. What was the one I was thinking about just today? Polar um, Express. No. Reached for the gun, the gun. For the gun, for the gun. Oh, Charlie Brown Christmas. Oh yeah. Extremely good. How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the animated no. version. The animated, yes. Incredible. Not the Jim Carrey version. I hate Jim Carrey. Sorry, Jim Carrey. She I never met him, him, and she hates him. My top five. Yes. Okay, Mother Christmas Carol, definitely number one. Probably number two, I would put a Nightmare Before Christmas. Number three, is Charlie Brown Christmas a movie? Because it was like a TV special. I think it's only like 30 minutes long. It's a TV special. It's like The Grinch, Who Stole Christmas. Oh, that's fair. The animated version. I don't know. I used to really like Charlie Brown Christmas, but it's got the whole reason for the season ending that just doesn't hit the way it used to for me. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> what are your top five Christmas movies? Always at Christmas time. Home Alone. Probably The Grinch Who Stole Christmas, the animated version. Um, The Santa Claus. Charlie Brown. My number five is Love Actually. The Rockettes Christmas Spectacular. Is that a movie? Sort of. Hmm. Do you like Love Actually? I love Love Actually. I wouldn't consider it just a Christmas movie though. I think of Elf, the movie. I hate it. You hate it? That's a strong reaction. Well, Let her know how wrong she is down in the comments. Listen, I, I recognize the Elf is a good movie, obviously. I have seen that movie so many times and it is so overhyped at this point that I just can't Mm, no, I don't. I don't like it. You're not done, are you? I think so. No. I'm, I'm happy. Where's your front door? Right there. You have to make a door. I'm happy. You haven't even made a door. I'm happy with mine. Like legit, I am pleased with the way that it looks. I mean, it's visually appealing. It's got just enough without being. Without being what? Nothing. You're rude. <laughs> Favorite Christmas song? Um, Paul McCartney. Simply having a wonderful Simply having a wonderful Christmas time, probably. Um, or Chestnuts Roasting on an Open Fire, whatever that one's called. I think it's just called Christmas Time. A Rest You Merry Gentlemen by Mannheim Steve Yeah, that's a that's really slack. good. Yeah, it's a really good one. God Rest You Merry. Oh, my dad, that might be my dad's favorite too. My dad loves that song. My mom would listen to Mannheim Steve all the time. Yeah, my dad had that album um, in the car. And Carol the Bells, is that the like really haunting Hark of the Hark Bells? Hark the Bells, sweet It's a very intense Christmas song. I feel like those two I can put on like my workout mix year round. Thoughts on All I Want for Christmas is You? That's a bit controversial. All I want for like Mariah Carey? Yeah. Um, I tend to not be the biggest Mariah Carey fan just in general, so um, I don't really have any opinions on it. I'm sick of that song in July. Did they play it in July? I don't know, but I'm already sick of it. <laughs> I want for Christmas is Thoughts on Michael you. Blake? Overhyped. I mean, he has a gorgeous voice. I really like it. He's but also overhyped. hilarious. He's a very funny man. Overhyped. I want for Christmas for Christmas is See, I can hit whistle notes, just like MK, MC. What TV show, in your opinion, has the best Christmas episodes? What do you mean? Like, give like, me an example. Like, um, any- Oh, Bob's Burgers. They do have very good ones. What do, you, what do you think the TV show? 30 Rock. Oh, 30 Rock does have a real- I miss 30 Rock, we should rewatch that. The episode where Jack realizes that his mom was Mrs. Claus every year and like did so much for him and they sing together. Right here. 25 year old Eric was just 
crying in his living room. Oh, why? Because it was emotional. It's back before I had the Christmas joy beaten out of me by society. That is so sad. You know, you have control over that, Scrim. No, I don't. What do you mean I have control over that? You can choose to not let it bother you and not let it ruin your Christmas spirit. Like, you have the power. I got lots of icing on my fingies. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what you could start on. We also got dog treat gingerbread house okay. kit. Decorate some gingerbread houses for our dogs. Is it safe? For gingerbread. Yeah, it's for dogs. Well, I'm reading the feeding guidelines. Oh, wow. Christmas is you. Yeah, I have to admit, it's not my finest work. But that's good news for you because that means it might actually be a bit of a competition. All right, I guess I'm done, whatever. <laughs> Mine is insane. All right, we're gonna clean this ish up and then we'll show you our final products. Here is the tour of Eric's. This is his naked front door. Would you like to explain? Yeah, it's a path to the front door with Reese's Pieces. Path to the side door, Reese's Pieces. Nice decorated tree with lights. Yep, trees with lights. Outlining of the roof, some piled up snow at obvious places where snow would pile up. And then this one kind of a more natural look around the house. So, Andy's mint crumbles. Nice. Simple. Very simple. Elegant. Eric also made these three dog treats. One says Xmas, one says something. I was supposed Unreadable. to say ho, 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 but the green icing sucks for writing, as you can see by the Xmas. Mm -hmm. And that one's a stocking. I'm happy with the stocking. Here is my oh house. Boy. It's a lot, okay? What's this? The door, the front door. And it's got windows on each side with little hearts and a little green and red border. It's got decorated Christmas tree, roof. It's, I'm gonna call it a Whoville inspired house. So overall, I would say it's actually a pretty close race. Let us know down in the comments who you vote for. Are you nervous this year? Honestly, I kind of like yours better than mine this year. Thank I think I just had a dead year and that's okay. I enjoy it, it's like Christmas threw up on it. It's like my Christmas personality in one house. Normally I'm much more intricate and detailed and precise and perfect. Where's mine? Christmas sometimes. Less is more. You know, what can we say other than Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate. Shabbat shalom. Hope you have a great time with your friends and your family and let us know who wins down in the comments. What else do they need to do, Scrimpy? Smash the subscribe button. And don't forget to like this video and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye!